hello and welcome again to our channel in today's video we will study how we can concatenate two lists in a single list using prolog well for concatenating two lists into a single list we use the function concatenate let's say we have to list l1 is equal to a b a b c d and l2 with just two elements one and two after the concatenation, we will have a new list L3 with all elements of list L1 and then all elements of list L2. What the function use as I mentioned earlier for concatenation of two list is concatenate. I will explain this function further in our program. Okay, let's move on towards coding. This is the console of our prolog. Let's open our program. Can get in at least. So this is our program. Just consists of two classes. The first one is can get in it. List one, list two. But well, this program or this class explains that in case we will have an empty list as first list. So our final list will be same as the second list. It means L2 will be the new list L2. It means it will contain only the elements of list L2 because uh, it, the first list is empty. In case the first list is not empty and what are not empty. So then what will happen? Firstly, the list will be broken up into two parts head and tail and has uh, we studied in our previous videos that the first element of the list is considered as head of the list and the remaining elements will be the tail of the list and uh, this list L2 second list will stay like this because first of the all the unique concatenation firstly the elements of list first list are presented in new list and after them there will be elements of second list so here the head of list l1 first will be become the head of the new list l3 and if we see the body part we can see then then the tail of the first list will can continue it with all the elements of second list to make the third list and as we study before in our earlier videos that here it is a recursive car so it means every time one element is added to the list as head and uh, then the tail will be separated from it and again it will be cut up again and again the first element of the tail will be added as head to the new list and this process will continue until the complete concatenation of two lists will be performed. Okay, let's run our program and see if it's working fine or not. For running it, we go to console to give path of program. Is any compile it? Yeah, it's just compiled. Fine. Now we can write the function. Concatenate. Let's say elements of first list are. One, two, five, eight, and six. Come on, element of next list are a v. I think it's first time not comma. And uh, the third list, let's say it is named as list 3. Now let's execute it. This query. So we have third list L3, or list 3, it is called here, which has all the elements of first list at the first position and the elements of second list. So this is 
the complete process for continue can continuing to list into a single one thanks for watching this video